In this video, I'm going to address a few questions that users have uh, raised to me recently. Now, the first is in regards to the metric system. To set the metric system, or to switch measuring systems, you can go from um, English to metric. You just select this um, fourth icon in from the bottom, uh, two arrows, and that shows the dimensions, and you can switch from English, metric, or you can select in metric, millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers, and you have a multiple. Um, now, the second question is in regards to uh, calculating an area and filling a geometry with color. And in both cases, you have to be in lines mode. And what you need to do is select all the lines uh, around the perimeter of a closed geometry. Now, what do I mean by closed? Um, if we turn the IDs on, what we'll see is, um, for this shape, each one of these lines is connected at a common endpoint. So line one it goes from point zero to point one. Line two goes from point one to point two. Um, so these lines are connected at a common endpoint. Now you could actually have a situation where that was not the case, where you have two points that are coincident. And in that case, you're not going to be able to calculate the area correctly. So to um, calculate an area, you select the lines around the perimeter in order. Now you'll notice that um, as you select the line, it's going to show arrowheads, which shows the direction. And this is another hint to show you that the geometry is connected, because if you connected one out of order, it might show the arrows in the opposite direction. When you close the geometry, you can just hit Calculate and Calculate Area. And that'll calculate your area. Now, in this case, I've actually drawn a curved line, and you'll notice it's not calculated. Or, excuse me, you notice that the endpoints are not closed. You could fill this geometry with color, but to properly calculate the area, it's very important that you actually close this geometry. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use my points mode. I'm going to drag this point over. And then you'll notice they're coincident. If I touch it, um, it's going to consolidate those two points. And now these two lines are physically connected. So to calculate the area, even though these are curves, I'm going to go into lines mode. I'm going to touch on a curve, and you'll notice it shows the orientation. If I select the next line, you'll notice it automatically reverses that line, and we can go around the geometry. It's now closed. If we hit Calculate, Calculate Area, we now have calculated the area. So the algorithm that um, GraphPad uses in order to calculate the area is a pixel fill algorithm. So you can actually show how well you've, you've calculated this by going to Fill and then just filling it with color. And what it the um, application does is it actually counts the number of colored pixels and then multiplies by the area of one pixel. And so it is an approximation, but it is a very accurate approximation. And that's my presentation. That should answer a couple of people's questions. And um, if you have any other questions about how GraphPad works or suggestions about how, to, how the product could be improved, please just fill out a contact form and let me know. Thank you very much.